Welcome back, Albert here. Today we will be talking about Ar Adun Nakor, the twentieth ruler of Numenor. Adun Nakor was born in 2709 SA and was the only son of Tar Ardamin. Hero no men was his name in High Elvish. And although this is not what he was known for, it was recorded as such in the scrolls of the king as Tar Hero no men. But in either case, his name could be translated to Lord of the West. An interesting meaning. More on that very soon. There is no information about his youth, but based on his decisions later on, one can make some assumptions. He was a devout follower of the new Numenorean beliefs in opposing the Valar. He had considerable popularity and political ties to the king's men, and he cared little for the long-kept traditions. Now it is a shame he did not have any outstanding traits or deeds, as it would have allowed him to earn a new name before being crowned king in 2899 SA. But as it stands, he maintained his title as it was, for his name was considered disrespectful, an insult, since its very meaning, Lord of the West, referred to the Valar, or Manwi himself. The faithful Numenorians felt, as well as anyone who still respected the old traditions, that it was a bad omen. It was deemed as a direct challenge to the lordship of the Valar to make matters worse. Ar Adunakor forbade the speaking of the elvish tongue in his presence and persecuted the faithful. It is even said the elven ships that came from Tal Eresea came seldom and in secret during this period. Due to the cold feelings of the king and most of the Numenorean population towards the Eldar, he ruled for 63 years, dying at the age of 253 in the year 2962 SA. He would be survived by his only child, Zimrathron. And that's it my friends. We are entering a very dark period in Numenorean history. It's hard to believe, as a nation, they are growing more powerful and more wealthy during these times. But as you can see very clearly, this is coming at a great price. The rulers of the Numenorians have become more consumed with what they don't have than what they have. The fear of death is ever in their minds. And ironically, the gift of long life has waned significantly. Something I imagine that has not escaped their notice. It also doesn't help that they are holding on to the throne until their death. An awful tradition carried down from the time of Tar Atanamir, which limits the amount of time their heirs get to rule. The faithful Numenorean are still holding their ground, but it is a losing battle, and it seems they have lost a lot of their political power. We have troubling times ahead of us, but we will push forward as always. Thanks once again for listening. If you like this, please subscribe, like and comment. And as always, may the light of Yarendil guide your way.